Alien-style ships in Star Citizen often provide for some unique flavour, and the Asperia Tavarin Talon is no exception. The avian features and visual effects help make the Talon visually unique, but how does the performance actually stack up in-game? I'm Farrister, and in this video I review the Star Citizen ship, the currently flyable Esperia Talon, which is described as a light fighter. For those of you who've seen other ship reviews on this channel, the format will be familiar. This video is split into five sections, starting with a ship tour, assessing combat performance, reviewing handling and visibility, looking at the operating costs before finally summarising. I've included timestamps in the video description in case you want to skip ahead. And if you're one of the three quarters of people watching who isn't yet subscribed to the channel, you may choose to subscribe to be notified of future videos. Part 1 – Ship Tour And as a largely internalised fighter, the Talon has no real space to speak of. At the back there is some component access with a nice deployable animation, and on the right or starboard side at the front, there's also a small storage area for personal effects. Outside of that, getting into the Talon involves walking all the way to the front of the ship and opening the canopy. This deploys a small Tavarin style chair, which drops down to the surface and picks you up as the pilot. Completing the animation draws you up into the cockpit of the Talon itself. The cockpit is supposedly also going to double up as an escape pod in future patches, although in-game at the moment isn't currently active. And then powering up the console opens the viewport. Part 2 – Combat Performance the stock Talon comes armed with dual size 3 laser cannons on gimbals. If you'd prefer to go bigger, there's the option to swap those gimbals out for fixed size 4 weapons. Personally, I found the gimbals helpful to retain. The capacitors recharge quickly, and offer a fair amount of trigger time before depleting. The Talon is further armed with four size 2 missiles, which provide a little extra firepower where required, and defensively, two size 1 alien shields are a fairly solid grounding for the Talon too. Put all of that together, and you have a fairly versatile combat platform. The sweet spot seems to be medium threat targets if running bounty missions, where the Talon is able to use superior speed to run rings around the opposition. The Talon certainly isn't weak, but the strengths of this fighter sit more in speed than in tanking damage. Part 3 – Handling and Visibility Starting with visibility, the Talon comes equipped with the same style of virtual cockpit that exists in the Prowler, which makes for a really cool power up and power down effect. Whilst stylish, that does mean that there are some bevels that slightly obscure your vision, and that vision is also not as expansive as some other cockpits, generally you'll have good visibility to the sides, fair up above, and limited down below. In terms of handling, the Talon is fairly unique. The acceleration and top speed are both good, as you might expect from a light fighter, and the Talon also turns on a dime. Here's the more challenging part to explain, however. I'm not a good enough pilot to fly the Talon to its limits. So I've got a lot of hours in Star Citizen, a lot of flight peripherals, and a lot of experience flying different ships. I'm definitely not a natural pilot like many others, but at this point I am an experienced pilot, and it's clear to me when flying the Talon, I'm leaving performance on the table just to stay in control. On the one hand, that's a really good thing, it means if you're the best of the best in piloting ability, the Talon could do incredible things for you. On the other hand, it means that most of us mere mortals probably won't get the full performance out of the Talon. 
The good news is that even without pushing right to the limits, the Talon still runs rings around opponents, in some cases literally able to park just behind a target and stay there. That's a really good sign for a light fighter. The stock quantum drive is somewhere between slow and fast with a limited range. You might consider changing for either a faster drive or a longer range drive, as sadly the stock drive misses the mark on both. It would be a shame not to mention the incredible quantum drive effect however, which as with many alien ships looks awesome. Part 4 – Operating Costs so, starting with costs, the Talon is incredibly cheap to operate. Across refuel and repair, you're probably looking in low hundreds of Alpha UEC. If you've fired the missiles, you might expect that to get a little higher, but generally, it's cheap to run. And making money from combat contracts is satisfying in the Talon too. The sweet spot seems to be medium contracts, although for a skilled pilot, higher tier combats are likely feasible. Outside of that, the Talon has no cargo space, no internal space for storage, and no passenger transport options, so you're likely going to be focused purely on run and gun mechanics. Part 5 The Verdict In terms of look and feel, the Talon is quirky and unique. The Tavarin theme offers a visually appealing element, and internally, across the virtual cockpit and quantum drive effects, you'll feel like you're operating something different. By way of loadout changes, I'd simply swap out the quantum drive, probably for a burst, otherwise I'd leave everything else as is. The combat performance is solid for a light fighter. It's competitive, will reward an experienced pilot, but not to the point of being overpowered. It's probably a little more work for a newer pilot than some of the other options, so if you're not feeling quite so experimental, perhaps an Arrow or Gladius might be a safer choice. They'd also be cheaper choices, with the Alien tax hitting the Talon, with a 1.85 million Alpha UEC price tag, or upwards of $115 in pledge. That's expensive when compared with other light fighter options which offer similar performance, but if you're in the market for something a little different, you might be willing to go that far. Or maybe not. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, and as always, thank you for watching.